What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video today, so we'll be going over the legendary PvP weapon review of the Atlanta FR4. Now this is a new Omelon fusion rifle that came in Curse of Osiris, and I think it's pretty good. First let's go over the perks here, so it comes with high impact frames, slow firing, high damage, this weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Sight wise we have the Candle PS, Omelon Post Sight, Short Zoom, greatly increases handling speed and slightly increases range, and then you have the Flash HS5, Omelon Red Dot. Medium zoom, highlights enemy targets, increases range, and slightly increases handling speed. Then between your batteries, you have an enhanced battery, which increases the magazine size, or you have projection fuse, which increases range. Finally, its trait perk is field prep, increased ammo reserves, faster reload when crouched. Now, on how to obtain this weapon, I believe I got this weapon through the gunsmith, but I think I got it to drop from an engram as well from Master Raul, but it seems pretty easy to obtain overall. It's probably just like one of the older uh, Omelon Fusion rifles like Shock and Awe or I forget what the other one is, but you can get it from the gunsmith very, fairly easily and it drops fairly easily. My rating for this weapon was a seven out of 10. There are better power weapons to use overall in general, but fusion rifle wise, this one is pretty good. So first let's go over the sight options. Obviously you want the most range on this fusion so you can smack people across the map. Uh, that's why I use the Flash HS5. Plus the sight feels more consistent than the other Omelon sights. I know uh, you can't really compare auto rifles and fusions, but uh, when it comes to Uriel's gift, the number, uh, positive outlook they all well I personally use the flash HS5 just because it seems the most consistent and with the other Omelon fusion rifles I also use the flash if it is available because it just feels crispy you know next let's go over your mag option I went with projection fuse for that extra range being able to smack people across the map uh, with this weapon is the best thing especially for PvP engagements enhanced battery isn't a bad option but considering you're not always gonna have that power ammo in the crucible projection fuse seems to be a little more viable when it comes to those PvP engagements lastly let's go over the trait perk field prep uh, it's definitely not the best PvP perk but you could still get a faster reload when crouch Plus, it'll take you off the radar while you're reloading, so when someone wraps around the corner, you can just melt them. This weapon pairs very, very well with the Devour Tree on the Void Lock. Like, all you have to do is eat your grenade, get a fusion kill, and just keep getting fusion kills. You could potentially get to li get a Lights Out. The sad thing is that with, like, fusions, people can shoot you, and once your shield is halfway down, like, by the time you shoot somebody else with your fusion rifle, like, you're just gonna die because you have, like, no health. That's why Devour is really, really good on this. Overall, I think this weapon is good for PvP just because of all the range perks that it comes with on this weapon. This is probably one of the, I guess, like longer ranged uh, fusion rifles in the game right now, right next to the Iron Banner one, Wizened Rebuke. But having the flashlight, projection fuse mag, and high impact frame as its intrinsic perk, this weapon hits like a truck at a range in the Crucible, and I highly recommend using it. Alright guys, the best way to support me is liking videos, subscribing to the channel, sharing videos, and turning on that notification bell if you want me to know if I want to drop some new content on the channel. If you're looking for a community join, definitely go in the link below, it'll say join the clan, all you have to do is press on the link, request to join the clan, then me and the PS4 admin will go in and we'll evaluate you, and we'll most likely let you in. We're multi-platform, uh, we have over 50 people in the clan right now, so you already know we have people dedicated and people that are playing the game. We hit max clan XP. Uh, the first week of Curse of Osiris within the first day. So you already know we're going to hit rank 6 within the next few weeks uh, in Season 2 of Destiny 2. And if you're really, we're really looking for some people in that end game area, like Trials, the Raid, the new Raid layer. We're really looking for people on that end. So if you like doing those things, and if you do those things often or are good at those things, definitely come over. We have people that do those things often. We just want more people to play those activities with. Lastly, comment what you guys want to see below. I'm making content for you guys. So whatever you want to see, a weapon review, what I think of Curse of Osiris or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.